Hi, this is Tim. The question of conventional current flow versus electron current flow has come up several times in my sinking and sourcing video. Some constructors such as this guy ask him why we show positive to negative current flow when it actually goes negative to positive. And others such as this guy who says as an instructor, I'm hurting students by not showing them electron current flow and tells me to go back to school. Well, first, I'm not an instructor. I'm a guy who makes a decent living in the automation industry and just tries to help other people get into this industry. And while I try to keep my videos on very practical subjects, I'll give this one a shot. So there once was a guy named Benjamin Franklin. Maybe you've heard of him. He invented the $100 bill. He also enjoyed flying kites. And one day in 1752, he was flying a kite in a thunderstorm and he did not discover electricity. We'd already known about electrical forces for thousands of years. What he discovered was the relationship between lightning and electricity. Also, his kite wasn't actually struck by lightning and he didn't run through the city of Philadelphia with a glowing key saying he had discovered electricity. What he was able to do was collect electrical charges and he identified one of them as positive and the other as negative. And I've seen a bunch of different reasonings as to why he did this, but he did the best he could with what he had to work with. And his naming conventions became conventional flow, which states that current flows out of the positive terminal through your circuit and back to the negative terminal. It wouldn't be until 150 years later that J.J. Thompson would discover the electron and the fact that electrons were actually what was moving when current was flowing from the negative through our circuit and back to the positive creating what we know as electron current flux. So now the big question is why, after 150 years of knowing this, do we still use conventional electron flux? Well, it turns out it makes very little difference in the equations that you use, whether you consider conventional current flow or electron current flow. The biggest thing that changes is the right-hand rule. And if you're not sure what that is, we actually have a STEM with Tim video coming out soon that'll explain it. Also, think about it. Every diode, every transistor, everything that can only be put in one direction in a circuit would have to be turned around. So everything that's pointing saying this way is positive would all of a sudden have to point the other way. So it'd be a really difficult task when there's no real gain associated with it. So which one should you use? Well, I'm not an expert, but I say if you're working in the automation industry or anything electrical, then you're gonna be using conventional flow. It's what all components in our industry are based off of. Probably what's more important is that you understand the difference between conventional current flow and electron current flow. Now, if you're just looking to show someone up, then you can probably ramble off something about electron current flow in a video that's designed to show people how to actually wire circuits. Thank you to all my positive commenters who help offset those negative comments and also thankfully way outnumber them. Maybe I should do a video about haters. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.